Hey, how's it going? My name is Taylor. This is Honeybriar Farmstead, and today we are going to get some stuff done. It is uh, Sunday afternoon. Done all the stuff I needed to do this morning. Now we're going to do some homestead stuff to set us up for the week. Have some very vocal pigs that are ready to be moved and be fed. Hello, guys. Hi, Gus Bus. Yes, yes. I think I'm gonna actually move her back in there with them. I'm gonna make maybe like a funnel with this fencing to funnel her in, just so I don't have to do a chase um, and let her help clean up that. That way I can finish putting wood chips in here without um, her as an obstacle.
Okay, well, could you do me a favor and pick up any of it that you think needs to be picked up? All right, I'm gonna start off with blending a couple cloves of garlic and some olive oil. So to this, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, the salt stuff, actually, it's probably at least a tablespoon. I've washed and let kind of dry my basil. Most of this is mammoth basil, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not, those little brown spots, I'm not going to bother with picking those off because I just plan on freezing this. So... I'm not going to bother with picking any of that off, and I'm also going to leave the stems. And then I got the better quality Parmesan cheese that I could, but it's still just some kind of regular brand from Food Lion. I'll have two of these. I guess, you know, I'm going to start with that one and see what it looks like. Try some. Take your finger. That's good. I'm gonna add. You don't like it? <laughs> I'm gonna add the rest of my cheese and then. Oh, Waylon really don't. I think it's a little spicy because all the garlic I added. And I'm gonna put some more salt. Yes. Tastes bad. Yeah. Okay. Alright, it's a little more blended than I usually make it, but it still tastes the same. Pretty good. Um, no pine nuts or anything like that. So the texture's a little bit different, but it tastes really good. And I'm going to put it in a bag. I'm going to put it all in one big bag to freeze it. The last time I froze it, I froze it in smaller size bags. But it actually breaks off really easily when it's frozen because of the oil. What is going to make it like that? It's pesto. The reason I fold the edges down is so that none of this gets on it and prevents us from being able to close the bag. It smells gross. I like pesto. You don't like it? It kind of smells like salad. It kind of smells like a salad. I'm going to freeze it flat like this. That way, whenever I need to break a little piece off, it's easy to do so. This is where I put all of those flowers that I've deadheaded. I've been collecting them and putting them here to dry. Um, I also plan on maybe drying some herbs the same way, but right now it's just been flowers. 
And I'll link this one or one similar to it in the description down below if you're interested. But thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.